In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a bracket order in Thinkorswim. So bracket orders involve both a target and a stop loss. And if you heard me go off yesterday about stop losses, I'll post that video here if you haven't seen it. You'll know that I'm a huge advocate of using a bracket order just simply because it makes your trading life that much easier because you set it and forget it. But I do get a lot of questions about how to set up a bracket order, how to set up multiple bracket orders, how to save bracket orders. And if you can get all this down and make it really smooth, trading life just becomes so much easier. So let's dive into the platform and I'm gonna show you in TOS how to create a bracket order. Okay, step by step, I'm gonna show you how to create a bracket order in Thinkorswim. So I've got my demo account open. You can see simulated trading up here. The first thing that you wanna do when you wanna create a bracket order is you wanna decide what is going to be your take profit and what is going to be your stop loss. So for sake of simplicity, let's just say you want your stop loss to be 50 cents and you want your take profit to be two to one, so you want it to be $1. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come right here to this template single tab, you're gonna open this up and you're gonna pick TRG with a bracket, okay? So you click that and it's gonna give you this window and I'm gonna open this up a little wider so you can see it better. But right here what you wanna look at is the stop and the limit. So this is your stop loss. This is actually a stop market order and this limit order, that's gonna be your take profit. That's gonna be your target, your two to one. So what you'll do is you'll double click in here and you'll just simply enter 50 cents. Then here, well, we're already a dollar, but what you would do is you would highlight it and you would make it whatever you want. And that's it, your bracket is set up. So what I like to do is set up a bracket in the morning and then I just sit and I'm watching the market saying, okay, if I do wanna get in, I've got it loaded, I'm ready to go and I can put it in. Now watch what happens when I go ahead and put the order in. I'll click, let's say I wanna get long uh, if it breaks 82.66. So I can come down on this chain right here, 82.66 to the long side, and all I have to do is click it. And there it is. Here's my entry. The green means buy, so that's your entry. This is my target. If you hover it, you can see right there it says target $1. And if I hover the stop loss, it's gonna say target 50 cents for my stop loss. And you notice on the right hand side it says to close. That means it'll close your position out. And that's all you have to do. Now, that was made simple because I had the auto send turned on. Oh, we just got triggered in. All right, perfect. So we're triggered in and you can see now that the entry order is gone. And now I just have my target and my stop loss. So you're now in the trade and now you can walk away. You could go to work, you could go pick up the kids, you can do whatever you want now because your target and stop loss are both in place. And to demonstrate it, I'm gonna move the target up a little bit just so we can make it activate. Let's see if we can get it to go through. What I was gonna say before it chimed us in there, before it triggered us in, was I have this auto send button turned on. When it's turned on, it will automatically put it on your screen. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trigger ourselves out of this and I'm gonna show you how to do it with the auto send turned off. So it's turned off, I pick the bracket, I change this to 50 cents, this is already at a dollar, but let's make it a dollar fifty just so you can see me change it. A dollar to do a dollar twenty-five. I'll leave the auto send turned off for now. And let's say I want to get in if we break 8280. So I'll go to 8280 and I'll click it. Now with auto send turned off, you get this box. And from here, you can just say send and it'll send it exactly the way it is. If you want to adjust it, you would just click edit and you can edit it and change it however you want. Maybe I wanna make this $1.30 now. Then I can click confirm and send, and there's the bracket. Now let's say you, you put out a bracket and you decide, oh, I didn't mean to do that, or wrong price, or I accidentally put in 1,000 shares instead of 100, you get kind of panicked. All you do is have the auto send turned on and click flatten, boom, gone. Takes it right off your screen, okay? If you don't have that flatten button there, you can click in here, and you can find it in here. If you type in FL, you'll see flatten, double click that, and it puts it right over here. And that way, you'll have that on your platform so that if you ever get in a situation, either long or short, where you're kind of panicked, 
You can just hit flatten and it'll get you right out of it. Now, let's move on to talking about the double bracket. This is an interesting scenario that I want to explain because it's really helpful for different strategies. So if you go to the double bracket, right here, two brackets, you can now see they've just duplicated what I just had in my last example. So what this means is whatever amount of shares you put in here, it's going to split it between the two brackets. It's hard to see, but these this is 50-50 and 50-50. If I were to put in, um, let's say I put in 200 shares right here, and I update it, you can see it's 100 on each side. So it splits the order up. What this is allowing you to do is set a 50 cent target or whatever you want on each one. I mean a 50 cent stop loss on each one. And then once that it's in place, the first one you could say, I want to take profit on my first half at $1.25 and I want to take profit at $3 on the second half. And there it's all set up. So when you put out this order, it's going to take half your position off, meaning taking profit at $1.25, but then you'll still have another 100 shares of these 200 shares going to $3 to take profit again. So if I go ahead and put this one out there, let's say I want to get long above 83, let's say 30. So now you can see what this does. I've got my entry. Here are my two stop losses. They're at the same level. And then here's my first take profit and my second take profit, 100 here and 100 here. And all 200 entered here, stop loss for a total of 200 here. So it's a really nice way to manage pieces of your trades. Now to take this one step further and to get even crazier, you could put in, let's put in 300 shares and let's go to three brackets. So now you could take 100 shares off at a dollar, another 100 shares off at $2 and another 100 shares off at $3. And you could make the stop losses all the same. You could say, you know what? I want to get stopped out at 50 cents on each one and that way I'll be good to go and I want to worry about anything. So let's put this out at 83.40 something and let's fire that out. So now you can see that you've got all these different stop losses. Oh, and I didn't change this one for me. Somehow that one didn't get changed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just move that up here. Okay, so now you've got them all at the same level. So you've got your three stop losses here, your entry here, and then target, target, target. So this is a nice way that if you think that a stock's gonna have a really nice run to the upside or the, to the short side, you can take pieces off as you go. And one thing I didn't do was show you to the short side. So let me just show you that real quick. Let's do two brackets. Let's do, let's just do them each at a dollar stop loss. So dollar stop loss, dollar take profit, two dollar take profit. But instead of going long, let's say we wanna go short below maybe 82 something. Let's go right down here. So now you can see the main difference is it changed this and it made this red, meaning short. In the last example, the entry was green because it was long. And for some reason, I wasn't getting that in the right, wasn't changing that one. But those are both at the same level for your stop loss. So if we get triggered into this trade, we're gonna drop down, we're gonna hit our first target here, and then we're gonna hit our second target here. If we get stopped out, we'll get stopped out at this level. And let me make sure that I'm doing things right with those stop losses because they both should have been, let's set them both at 50 cents. And we'll do a $1 target and a $2 target, but both are 50 cent stop losses. So this should go ahead and work. And let's go 82 something and we'll go short. There we go. So you can see the stop losses are at the same level. So that's correct. So here's your entry right here. And there's target one and target two. So that's basically all there is to know about brackets other than if you want to save one, you can come in here. Let's flatten this. Let's create a simple bracket with a 50 cent stop and a $1 take profit. If you want to save this to reuse it, like maybe you want to use one bracket that's 50 cent stop and maybe another one you want to be a 25 cent stop. You can create those and then save them by hitting this button right here. And you can say, let's make this a 50 cent stop loss. You can name this whatever you want. And once it's saved, you can then say you come into the platform and you say, I want to put this trade on. I want to use this bracket. 
it's right here. Click that and you're already good to go. 50 cents by a dollar. You can make as many of them as you want. You could change this to 25 cents and then maybe change it to 500 shares. And then you could click this and say 25 cent stop loss and then click save. And then if you come in here, you can see you've got your 25 cent and your 50. If you select that one, it's 25. If you select that one, it's 50. So a simple way to save your bracket orders so that you can get into the markets confidently, you can have a target, have a safety stop loss, and have less stress in your trading. Hope this video was helpful. See you next time.